What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I create my marble designs. So after I posted my last Japanese marble design, I had so many of you ladies ask for a specific video on all my different marbling techniques. So today I finally sat down and I'm going to be sharing with you how I create my usual marble granite as well as a few different kinds such as rose quartz and jade marble. So if that's something that you guys would be interested in, then just just keep on watching. So guys, diving right in with today's video and we're going to begin with the simplest one and this one is your basic marble granite or your two-tone sort of ombre marble and I'm going in first with my base colour which is white as you could see and I'm going in with two coats curing each for 30 seconds. So this step is completely optional but I love to do it and it just adds a little bit of character to the background of my marble. So I'm going to take this grey polish here, this is from um, Premier Gel and I'm just basically going to do a little bit of a dry brush technique on that base and as you can see I basically put nothing at all on there and then I use my finger to model it in over the whole nail and it just really gives me a nice shadow appearance on the background of my marble and then I cured that layer and now I'm going in with my fine detail brush and some black gel paints and I'm basically just starting by adding small squiggles to that nail in various parts. You don't want to overpower the nail with too many squiggles at this point because we are going to build up on it. And then I'm going to be taking my pointed gel brush and some isopropyl alcohol and I'm going to go ahead and use the tip of that brush and just disperse those lines. Now as I said previously this is just going to be the backdrop for, for my actual marble so you don't want the lines to be be too overpowering I'm basically just making this like a really nice smoky appearance that's going to be a fabulous backdrop for the more details that I put in later on and then when I was happy with that I once again cured that layer in place before moving on so as you can see guys, all I have done is create a shadow and a background for my actual marble nail and now I'm going in with my fine detail brush and I'm going to start creating um, little lines that are a lot more prominent than the last ones. So where I went ahead and dispersed this last ones, I'm not going to do that with this ones. I'm going to basically take my alcohol brush, um, well my brush with some alcohol and I'm going to remove a lot of that alcohol and then I'm basically just going to create some fine like shadows and things like that. So again it's just basically adding and manipulating it however you wish and again that's how there is no right or wrong way of doing marble nails everyone has their own interpretation of how they look at stone marble and that's why I always like to look at actual stone marble as opposed to someone else's nail art because again you are basically looking at how they're looking at marble and it isn't your way so if you go ahead and look at a picture of a usual stone marble you could interpret it any way that you wish and it gives your nail your character and your stamp as opposed to someone else's if that makes any sense and now that I have created my actual stone marble I'm going to go in and start adding some accents and for that I'm using some gold gel paints and as you can see I'm using a really light hand and very little product and I'm basically just adding it to various parts of the nail again I do not want to over the power the nail with too much of this gold I just basically want to highlight some of those little veins that I created with that black gel and really bring it a little bit more character and then I am going to go ahead and add a no white gel top coat for a really shiny finish on this nail but I also think a matte finish would look perfect for this marble design and finally guys here is what the stone granite marble looks like once everything is complete and as you can see with a few simple steps it really is a beautiful nail so guys diving on with design number two and this one is a smoky marble design again it is super easy to do and this time i'm going to be using watercolor paints so i'm going in first on my matte white base and i'm going in with my very first watercolor which is this beautiful purple shade and as you can see i'm focusing solely on the middle point of that nail from the cuticle to the tip so i'm basically just adding my watercolor and then i will be dipping my brush in some 
water and then I will also have a little pad beside me where I will wipe off my brush and it just allows me to suck up some of that um, watercolour and it basically allows some areas to be really prominent and others to look more shadowy. So I'm basically just going to go in with the blue next and then I will use the black. So as you can see I'm not adding them to all over the nail, I'm focusing solely on certain parts of that nail. And then I will go in with my brush again, just the same one I used the last time but this time I'm using water. So I'm just going to go in and as opposed to just going in and blending all of those colours together, I'm focusing on one colour at a time and this allows me to create a really nice smoky appearance on the nail and again you don't have to panic if this part of your design isn't um, perfect because we are going to be layering it up and it will always look amazing once you have layered your colours up and added your top coat. So I'm just basically dispersing these colours again creating my shadowy background before I go in with the rest of the details. And then if I feel like I need a little bit more, I just take whatever colour I want to add. This, In this case, it was the purple and I'm just going to add a small squiggle going down the middle. And then I'm going to disperse that again, but not as much as I did the last time. I want to create some really nice veins that you see in marble designs. So again, I'm just working those into the other colours, but without blending them too much. And then when I was happy with that part of my design, I do go ahead and top coat that before I move on. And then my next step is just to go in with some more of that black because I thought it needed a little more and then I added more purple so I could again go in and create that really nice veiny sort of design that you will see in most marbles but because this one is more of like a smoky effect that's really what I'm going for here so again I do not want those colours to blend too much together I really want you to be able to see what is on there and then I will just continue adding all of my colours and this time I have put in a little bit of white and the white will help me create that shadow effect that I'm going for and that is the great thing with these watercolours you could really add as much or as little as you wish and it's so easy just to wipe away any little mistakes or just go ahead with your design and that's basically what I'm doing here just creating those tiny little veins so it looks a lot more prominent in some areas and then again I am going to finish that off with a top coat so to finish off this design I am now going to go in with some foil and I just basically use my little tool and disperse that foil over the nail. Again I do not want to overpower the nail with too much foil. I am removing some as I go along and then I just use my finger to make sure it's secured to that nail and then I will once again go ahead and top coat that nail and that is design number two complete. And finally guys, here is an up close look at design number two and just look at how beautiful those colours blend together. This is probably one of the easier marbles that you will ever see but it is definitely eye catching and will make a beautiful feature nail. So guys, we are now moving on with design number three and this one is my rose quartz marble and this is absolutely my favourite one to do. I just love rose quartz marbles. They are so delicate and super pretty and absolutely are one of my favourites. So as you can see, I went in with two coats of the sheer pink polish by China Glaze. This one is called Innocence and then I fully cured that layer. And then I took Diva Bride by China Glaze and I, as you can see it's a little bit darker than the last one so I added this in a dry brush motion like I did the last time and then mottled it with my finger. And now I'm going in onto that still wet gel and I'm going to go ahead and add some of this white gel paint and again using my finger I just mottle that in and again it gives me that sort of Himalayan stone feel to the nail and you will just see what I mean now because in various parts of the nail we will have that little pieces of white and that different pink poking through and it just adds a little bit of character to the nail. So as you can see I went ahead and top coated that nail and then onto that wet top coat I'm again going in with some of my white gel paint. I just added that in a sort of V squiggly V shape and then a little line at the side. Again I do not want to overpower the nail but I want to add a little bit of character and I like to keep it in the middle where the eye first meets. So I'm going to go ahead and disperse those lines with my gel brush and some 
isopropyl alcohol and then I'm going over that whole nail with another layer of that first gel polish that we used and as you can see it really gives that nail a beautiful sort of translucent feel to the marble and I absolutely love it and then I will go ahead and fully cure that. Next, I'm going in with some white gel paint again and I'm going to go ahead and add highlights to those little lines that I just created the last time. This time, I'm not going to go ahead and model them too much, but I am going to go ahead and just where I first started the line, I am going to go ahead and tap there so it isn't too dark and then I continue to drag that white down so it just highlights certain parts of the nail. And then like the last one, I'm going to finish this off with some rose gold foil, again using my little tool just to disperse that to various parts of the nail not too much that I am overpowering the design but just enough to give it a little bit of character and then again I fully top coated that nail with a glossy top coat and here we have an up close look at my Himalayan rock sort of rose quartz marble So now guys, we are moving on to the very last design and this one is my Jade Marble, another very eye-catching design and I absolutely love it. So I'm first going in with a mint base and this one is called Mint To Be by Nail Nails. I'm only applying one coat of this and then I fully cured that and now I'm going in with some of my white gel paint and this is only going to be the background for my nail so I'm sparingly adding this onto the nail and then I'm mottling it out with my finger and then I do the exact same with my black gel paint and then I'm going to add a matte top coat so as you can see guys, I have gone ahead and created my base with the gel polish, but for my actual marble, I'm going to be using these alcohol ink pens. I got mine from Amazon by the brand Touchlet and they are honestly amazing, super cheap and they blend seamlessly together and it's my favourite way to do marbles. So onto the nail, I am just basically adding various shades of green and there is no rhyme or reason to it, there is no right or wrong way, you just want to add squiggles of your chosen colour to the nail until it is filled up. And then I go in with my darker shade, which in this case is black, and I will just sparingly add a few little squiggles of this to the nail because it could very easily overpower the whole design. Then again, with my um, gel brush dipped in some isopropyl alcohol, I'm now going to go in and start dispersing these colours and blending them together. But again, you do not want to use too much alcohol because they will all blend and become one colour. You just want to focus on each colour and touch that alcohol into the middle so it will evaporate and create these really beautiful veins on the outside. So each will have a little bit more prominence and it just gives it a lot more character. And again, I added some more green in various parts. Again, just so it has various shades of different colours and then onto that wet top coat I'm going in with some of my white gel paint and I will once again use my gel brush to disperse these lines and again this just creates a little bit of a shadow effect and brings a little bit more white into the nail and then again once I fully cured that nail I will go in with some more little squiggles this time they're really tiny and I will just fully cure that nail and then my last step for this design was to go ahead and top coat that nail. Again, I think this would look beautiful matte, but I really prefer the shiny surface. So this is what my jade marble looks like. And I hope now that I'm up close, you guys can see what I mean about the various degrees of colour in each part of the nail. So it all comes together and it looks really natural and beautiful. And it was so easy to do. And finally guys, this is what all of my marble designs look like once they were all finished. And I've also went ahead and added an extra one, which is just the same as the granite marble. But instead of using white, I used a sort of dark teal and added some gold foiling just to show you that you could add different kinds of accents to your marble and they would still look very realistic. So marbling nails is absolutely one of my favourite nail art techniques and I really had so much fun filming this nail art session for you guys. And if you do have any recommendations for my next nail art session, whatever kind of nail art technique or whatever you guys would like to see in this kind of format, where I do a few different designs sort of on the same basis, then let me know in the comment section below and we could definitely go ahead and make this a series. 
And to finish off today's video, I really hope you guys found some tips and tricks in here that could help you in your marbling journey. And as always, if you did enjoy today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I would totally appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't already, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.